Hello again YouTube friends, this is Brian back at the BG Model Workshop for our second video of the day. We're just knocking them out here. Um, we are too excited about this particular build, uh, group build that's going to be starting on January 1st, hosted by Thomas Soltis over at Soltis Classic Car Modeling and Jeff's Model Garage, plus also Kenny at the uh, Mindless Model Works is helping out as well. But um, I'm just going to do this video here so we can announce what's going on. Um, I'm just too excited about this to, to let it slide a little bit any longer. So this is the kit that we have picked out for our, our truck build, Kenworth W900. I've never built a semi-truck before, so um, I'm really looking forward to rolling up my sleeves and getting into this, uh, elbow deep into this truck here. Um, I don't think I'm going to do box art style. I haven't picked out a color scheme yet. My nephew um, in Alaska is uh, Aiden is uh, begging me to do this as Optimus Prime from the movies. Um, maybe I'm not sure. You know, we'll we'll we'll, we'll investigate that. But uh, I'm not too sure I'll do that since I am a fan of the Optimus Prime from the cartoons where he was uh, a cab over truck rather than uh, one of these over the road trucks. But um, looks like the detail might be a little light on the engine bay. Um, I'll probably be pretty overwhelmed with everything else, so I don't know what I'll do for the engine work and everything. But inside, I'm sure most of you guys have seen these things before, but look at this. Look at all these tires. Did you check out. Look at this, Jeff. Look at all his ferret treats in here. Look at all these little ferret toys in here, you know? And then... Uh, Everything is unstarted, of course, still in bags. Monstrous, monstrous stuff. Um, I may actually have, whatever color scheme I come up with, I might have to buy more paint than I usually do in order to cover all this area. So, that's the truck. Um, and I am going to go full tilt crazy with all this and actually build a trailer along with it. And this was my Christmas present from my wife last year. Uh, it's the auto transport trailer. It's so large I have to back the camera up in order to get it all in. But uh, uh, again, very well detailed kit, all those girders and everything. Color scheme, I'm not quite sure. I do want to try and get it to match up to the truck. Um, and then I want to use this as actually a display piece so I can put other model cars on it since I am running out of shelf space. But uh, check it out. It comes with tools and gloves and a Thor's hammer in there. And then uh, it's got hoses and chains for all the uh, for all the deck work and everything. And it's rated as a skill level 3. Which, um, I don't know, does that actually mean anything anymore? But uh, the instruction, you know, it's a, the instruction is actually a book. Not really, a, not your usual fold and go. But uh, again, look at more ferret toys. And these tires are a little squishier than uh, the ones that were in the truck. So maybe with a little bit of weight on the trailer, these will sag down a little bit. And then there's our, our chain. Can we see that? Our chain and our vinyl hoses. And then wheels. Again, completely unstarted. Wheels and treads and girders. So yeah, uh, and there's a decal sheet also. I guess it gives us a couple of options. Or does it? No, it just has Classic Auto. So change that to say Thomas Salta's Classic Auto, right? But uh, it's also got our um, our load values. I think that's pretty cool. And then license plates. So there we have it, boys. That's what we're going to be doing. Um, again, I can't wait to get started on this. And I won't get started on it until until the ball has dropped on January 1st. So, uh, I got just a couple of weeks to figure out what I want to do for color schemes and such. I don't know, maybe Optimus Prime will have it. We'll see. But uh, that's what we got going on there. And everybody have a good weekend again, and thanks for tuning in. Bye.